What's up everybody? We're the Vaga Brothers. And this week we're in beautiful Saskatchewan, Canada. Saskatchewan is known as the land of the living skies for the wide open spaces of the North American grasslands. It's smack dab in the middle of Canada, known for prairies so vast, they say it's the only place in the world you can watch your dog run away for three days. But there's more to Saskatchewan's story. The province stretches far north to forests, lakes, and wildlife waiting to be discovered. So, when Tourism Saskatchewan invited us to join a talented group of Instagrammers on a trip through Prince Albert National Park, we jumped at the chance to explore more of Canada. We'd be traveling with Joe Greer from Portland, his fiance Madison Bosworth from Nashville, Tina Albrecht from Vancouver, and her partner Scott Rankin, who grew up in Saskatchewan but had not been back in over a decade. With cameras in hand, we piled into a car and headed north to Prince Albert National Park, searching for squares. Well, we've arrived in Prince Albert National Park. We're at the Waskasu Lake, and this place is gorgeous. So we are gonna pile in the car, see if we can't find some good places to take some photos, and show you guys the beauty of Prince Albert National Park. The park was founded nearly 100 years ago on 4,000 square kilometers of boreal forest. Dense groves of birch, aspen, and conifers. The ground thick with lichen, soft underfoot. Guys, behind us right now is a beautiful deer. We're just chilling on the Waskasu River. This was a transportation and food source for the native, the First Nations tribes who lived here, and then later the Europeans who came here to hunt. And that's what kind of when it brought this area into the modern world, but it's really not that different today. I mean, there's like no development, and it's easy to see how it would have been to live here back in the day. And we're just super close to nature. It's gorgeous, just really enjoying a day walking through the forest. Okay, so it's a time for a little bit of adventure in the treetops. We're gonna go zip lining. Excited? I'm stoked, I always like it. It's worth a good scream. And actually, <laughs> uh, Madison here has never gone zip lining. So we're gonna see how everyone reacts to this new adventure. All right, so it's the last one, and on this one we get to go upside down. I'm not going upside down though, Tina is. You're not, why aren't you gonna go upside down? Because I'm gonna take pictures of Tina going upside down. Mm. One, go. <laughs> oh! Holy shit! Dude, I almost, I almost got my head chopped off by that beaver dam. <laughs> Yeah, you Holy were pretty shit. close there. The summer weather was hot, so we decided to cool off on the lake. Ready? For sure. Let's do it. Let's do it. And check you later. We grabbed two skiffs to explore a series of connected lakes named the Hanging Hearts. Only three of a hundred thousand lakes in the province. So we've got to really shallow water and we're finally, we're just paddling to make it through this little channel to a new lake and Alex is seriously trying to do his like George Washington crossing the Potomac impersonation. Onward! I don't know if this is how George Washington spoke but he could have. But he's certainly not paddling. Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, we have just arrived to our picnic spot. Well, we just sailed through this narrow we channel. Sail. We sail. Yeah, we sailed. It was a motor but you still say sailing. We boated? We sailed. So we just sailed through this narrow little channel, came up to this massive lake, and then found this beautiful beach. There's no one on the lake. Yeah. We're here on the beach alone. We've got some food, some drinks, we might go swimming. Yeah, it's a pretty pleasant afternoon. All right, guys, well, we've just got to this little campground, and we're gonna have a little campfire oh. in this thing. It's called an authentic. A tentacle? Authentic. There should be some s'mores, 
There should be some growlers of local Saskatchewan craft beer mm, and hot dogs and good times. Sometimes you just need to eat a hot dog, make some s'mores, and drink some beer. And sing Kumbaya. Mm. And then get photobombed by Joe. Got you, man. I'm scared to shit. Wow. The great bambino. The peanut butter cup. The great bambino. Is heaven. This is my first s'more. Not to lie. That's not true. It's your first Reese's peanut butter one? That is that is the truth. Are you ever going back to just a reggae or? I'll never go back. Done. The southwest corner of the park holds some of the last remaining meadows of fescue grassland in Canada, along with 400 plains bison, the last still roaming their original habitat. So we've just arrived to Sturgeon River Ranch. It's on like the opposite side of Prince Albert National Park. Definitely has a different vibe. Yeah, so far, most of the places we've been have been around the lakes, all the water. Here it's a bit drier, and so we're meeting up with some of the local ranchers who are going to take us around on horseback. My name is Gord Wadlin. This is Sturgeon River Ranch, and uh, we're going to be riding horses and looking for bison and taking the wagon in, hauling in our food, camera gear, and uh, a whole bunch of fantastic photographers, Instagrammers, YouTubers. It's going to be fun. Me and my horse here have a little bit of an issue. She keeps insisting on giving me an up close and personal view of every branch that comes our way. This place is gorgeous. We've got this little lake in front of us, huge meadow, a little bit of shade, forests, friends. What more could you ask for? The Instagram crew had been busy snapping photos all week, so we asked them about their favorite moments from the trip, starting with Joe and Madison. I love it. I've always wanted to come to Canada and I mean just both of us love traveling, you know, so we want to get out and see as much as we can. Yeah, like this is my first time, like I said, out of the U.S. and it's incredible. I mean, there's a lot of different type of landscapes and just people and environments and cultural things that I'm not usually used to. But what I love about that is that it just gives me full kind of creative flexibility to see things how I want to see them. I think yesterday on the boat when the water especially was so yeah. still it was and it was just like all you could do was stare and like relax and just take it all in. Then we turn to the Canadians, Tina and Scott. Um, growing up on the west coast we always heard you know the prairies were flat and that's all there was to the prairies right but it's not, right? It's beautiful and there's trees and there's valleys and the lakes are amazing. Does it feel good to come back here like in this capacity? Like your, your job is really to showcase the beauty of your home state. How do you feel about that? It feels really good to be here, honestly. I, I was wanting to share the beauty of this province and I've been here in so long that it's, it feels good to be able to, to get shots that I'm really happy with and that I think express like a, a part of the province that most people probably wouldn't think of. Um, I think that's the goal of them bringing us here and I think that thus far myself and even all the other amazing creatives that are here with us have captured it perfectly and uh, we'll see if we can keep spreading the love, the Saskatchewan love. Alright guys, thanks for watching and big thanks to Tourism Saskatchewan for bringing us out here. Make sure you stay tuned because for the next couple of weeks we're going to be exploring Canada. If you guys like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for new travel videos every Tuesday. In the meantime, stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you guys on the road. Peace. Feel like more videos? Click on the left to explore Canada's cool capital, Ottawa. Or on the right, you can click to see our latest adventure from California's Sierra Nevada mountains. If you haven't subscribed, you should probably do that. It's pretty easy.